graph each system of inequalities by hand. Alright, we're given 3x minus 4y is greater than negative 12, and y is greater than negative 2x minus 1. I use a couple of different colors to distinguish. So I use purple for the first line and orange for the second line. Alright, so now for the purple, uh, I'm going to think 3x minus 4y equals negative 12 for the moment. So let's see, uh, the x-intercept, letting y take the value 0, we would have 3x equals negative 12. So x would equal negative 4. So the x-intercept is negative 4, 0. And similarly, the y-intercept, letting x take the value 0, we would have negative 4y equals negative 12. And so then y would equal 3. And so that would be 0, 3. So I've got negative 4, 0. And I've got 0, 3. I'll use a dotted line to mark that boundary. All right, and now I'll use a test point. Test the origin. Testing the origin would give me 3 times 0 minus 4 times 0 is greater than negative 12. 0 greater than negative 12, which is true. So 0, 0 is here. I would shade in that direction if it was on its own. All right, I will think y equals negative 2x minus 1. So minus 1, and then a slope of negative 2. So let it fall 2 and run 1, fall 2, and run 1. Oops, not careful there. Should be here. I will again use a dotted line to mark the boundary. And it looks like I can use the origin again, so I will. I will test the origin. So that would give me 0 is greater than negative 2 times 0 minus 1. 0 is greater than negative 1, which is also true. So I would shade the region containing 0, 0 if it were on its own. So I will only shade the region that is below what I've drawn in purple, and above what I've drawn in orange, and so that would be this region here. Graph the system. y is greater than or equal to 1.2x plus 2. y is less than or equal to 6 fifths x minus 5. All right, so y is equal, uh, greater than or equal to 1.2x plus 2. Again, I'll use purple here for the first one. That's in a slope-intercept form. So the y-intercept uh, is 0, 2. And the slope is 1.2. So that's 1.2 over 1. Well, but 1.2, if you change that into a fraction, that's or a mixed number, that's 1 and 2 fifths, or 1 and 2 ten tenths, or 1 and 1 fifth, which is 6 fifths. So, 6 fifths. So notice the slope is the same in both of these. All right, so y is greater than or equal to 6 fifths x plus 2. So the y-intercept is 2, and up 1, up 2, 4, 6, right Five would give me this point, and since it's an or equal to, I will draw a dotted line. I'm sorry, a solid line through these points. If I were to test zero zero, 
That would give me 0 is greater than or equal to 1.2 times 0 plus 2. 0 is greater than or equal to 2. That's false. So if this were on its own, I would be shading above the purple line. All right, y is less than or equal to 6 fifths x minus 5. Well, that has a y-intercept of negative 5 and a slope of 6 fifths. So rise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and run 2, 3, 4, 5 would get you to the point, uh, what is that, 5, 1. Drawing that line, and again using a solid line. So notice that since the slopes are the same and they have different y-intercepts, these are parallel lines. All right, what if I test the origin again? Testing 0, 0, we'd have 0 is less than or equal to 6 fifths of 0 minus 5. 0 is less than or equal to negative 5. And that is false. So the solution would not contain 0, 0. And so if this were on its own, I'd be shading below that orange inequality, or boundary, I should say. Well, so we're only supposed to shade the points that satisfy both of the inequalities. So I would need to shade the points that are above the purple line and below the orange line. But there are no points that are above the purple and below the orange. And so we do not shade anything. There's nothing to shade here. And we would say that this system has no solutions. There are no ordered pairs that satisfy both of those statements.